Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm just about ready to head out the door to go to the mall and do a little bit of shopping. I do have a bag that I reserved at Dior that I will be picking up today. And I also wanted to go to Fendi to check out some of the new bags that they have. Hello, Future Carol here. So Fendi was actually closed, but I did end up going into Chanel. They barely had anything for their 22S collection, but I took some footage of what I could. So I figured I would take you guys along with me, do a little bit of a shopping vlog. But first I wanted to show you guys my outfit of the day and my bag of the day so this sweater is from zara and i actually purchased it just like last week and my husband was making fun of me because he was like why are you buying such a chunky sweater in march but today is like 25 degrees fahrenheit so yeah i think this was a good purchase i'll link it down below for you guys and the reason i bought it was because it's like this part is like the perfect match for this tiny little vanity bag of mine i did do a video saying that this might not be the greatest purchase because it's not as convenient as i would like it to be but still i really love the color and yeah it really does match the sweater so yeah i'm just wearing jeans and yeah very very casual on the bottom just have to put on a pair of shoes and a coat and then i'll be out the door so yeah let's get going So the first stop is Dior and there's been so many new handbag releases since the last time that I went into their boutique so of course I took a bunch of footage for you guys and there's so many new styles that really impressed me. A bunch of them are really really pretty as you'll see later on in this video and the first one I want to show you guys is this medium Lady Dior. It's in black lambskin and instead of their typical like gold hardware this one has a gunmetal color hardware. And it's just so gorgeous. It reminds me of the So Black hardware on my Chanel bag. And if you don't really like their Ultra Matte collection, you want something a little bit more classic, but don't want the Lyco hardware, check this one out. And then I wanted to show you guys also, this one is a new bag of theirs. It's, I believe it's called their Vibe bag. And yeah, surprisingly, I like this a lot more in person compared to the online photos. I don't really think the online photos does it justice. For this bowling bag even though i am not a fan of the style of bag i really love that perforated detail they have on the oblique pattern it's actually made out of leather not canvas and it's just so intricate i'll show the detail on that leather on a different bag later on in this video and they also had a bunch of exotic bags on display and a lot of them were in green maybe it's related to st patrick's day so yeah i had to take some footage of them there's just so many different textures and so gorgeous but yeah i still don't see myself getting an exotic bag in the future What do you think of this color? I don't like it. You don't like it? I don't want to be in the video. <laughs> You're not prepared for this? Why don't you like it though? I, I think it's really nice. Is it because it looks like beigey to you? I don't know. It doesn't fall into any color category. I thought, like, remember a few months ago when we saw it in the bigger size? You said you liked it. You changed your mind? I don't think I really like this size. I'm just not used to seeing it, right? It's really weird. It's <laughs> pretty much the same bag as the way they are, but they stretched it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not used to seeing this size. It reminds me of a toolbox, right? A toolbox? If only it was red. Yeah, it kind of looks like a toolbox to me. But you do get this like 
strap that comes with it, which is maybe kind of nice. This chain strap, you see? I think it needs a little something else to it to make this look good as a shoulder bag. Right now it just, I don't know. It doesn't look right as a shoulder bag to me. I think it's too boxy. <laughs> you know what the saddle bag is? This pattern is so interesting. I think this is this is leather. It's not canvas. It's like embossed in there, I think. Looks pretty cool. You think I could pull off a bag like this? The silence is a no. <laughs> It's so cool though. Maybe in a smaller size. I feel like it wouldn't look as cool in a smaller size though. How do you think this looks crossbody? So good passing out loud. It is, you see? Take a look at it. Right? It's cool. so cool. It's like perforated, right? Yeah, and then like, there's like embossing on it. Yeah, it reminds me of the car seats. Car seats? Actually, it does. It's really cool. And then the hardware is white. It's like this matte white color. It's like a sporty look. Definitely the new small size. I really like this pattern. Don't you think that this reverse color looks really nice? I have it in the other way around where the background is lighter and then the embroidery is darker. Do you like this color scheme? You still think this looks like a whole foods bag? It looks like the little brown bag. From Bloomingdale's? This is cute. I wonder how it looks next to the bigger one. I'll ask her to get me the bigger one in a bit. The medium size, and then the small size here. Looks like next to each other. Significantly smaller, actually. How they both look like on the arm. This one you could carry it over the shoulder. Not with this sweater though, it's never going to fit. But this one, it's just about right on my elbow, so not going to be able to carry this in as many ways. I like the size though. So this one fits in here, kind of like diagonally. This one is an older model, so it has the bezel on it. Right. That would be easy. Oh. This one is even is nine, nine, nine and a half. half. Yeah, nine and a half inches. Mm -hmm. And it still has a little like a. Mm. It's like diagonal, right? Yeah. Goes in there diagonally. Mm -hmm. Put like a card holder in there. I think it would be fit like oh, this it, way. Oh yeah, it does fit. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's perfect. Okay. But then this one doesn't... Oh, it's hard to take out. <laughs> this one doesn't fit. This, this one is the one, biggest one. So. This yeah. is definitely oh, like, like a 13. Let me show you. Oh, this is 11. 11 inches. 11 inches. Yeah, so that doesn't fit. You could put... Oh. You could put this size? Huh? I thought you, you would love the medium. I have the medium. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's what that one looks like. Okay, yeah, this is. This doesn't work. 
So the next stop was Chanel, and not surprisingly, there was barely any stock of their newest 22S collection for me to even look at, but I tried to get whatever footage I could, mainly to show you guys some of the funner colors that they released for this collection. So there is this light blue color here, which is so gorgeous. It's like the perfect spring and summer color, and this bag is a seasonal release. It is in caviar leather. I know some people love their caviar leather, and I honestly think this bag is quite cute. You can wear it a few different ways, so it is quite versatile. You can do it with the strap doubled up over your shoulder or crossbody. And then we have the Notorious 22 bag, and honestly, just let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think of this bag. I'm sure a lot of you guys hate the look of this bag, and when I first saw photos of it, that was what I thought too, but in person, I have to say I don't hate it. I don't like the bag, but I don't hate it. I think it looks better in person than it does in photos maybe it has to do with how the bag is stuffed right now so yeah if it was empty it just looks like a sad looking sack but when it's stuffed it doesn't look that bad i must say the leather is quite smushy and quite soft it feels really sturdy too i believe it is calfskin but I think it has to be treated in some way because it does feel quite sturdy and you do get some Chanel details on it like you get that logo on the front, you get the interwoven leather and chain strap and you do also get this matching pouch with it too. So for the price, it's not so bad considering you get a lot of bag for the price. Actually, I don't know. How do you judge whether a bag is worth it? Do you base it off of if there's a lot of design details or the size of the bag? Let me know in the comments down below. And then this last bag is called the Funky Town. This is kind of like this light purple color. Honestly, it reminds me a little bit of Barney the dinosaur. But yeah, it does come with this really chunky antique gold hardware. And the style is just a little bit different than your typical mini square or pearl crush mini square bags. So that is it for all the shopping footage, but before I end this vlog, I did want to ask you guys a question. So I did end up buying the bag that I had gone into Dior for, but there actually is like a little bit of an issue with it. I did end up buying it just so they could order in a new one for me to exchange it like a few weeks down the line. So I wanted to ask you guys, do you want me to unbox it now or unbox it when I get my replacement? Let me know in the comments down below, but also I did get the belt loops that I had mentioned not having for my belt in my previous video so yes at least that was something that was positive about the visit so anyways let me know what you guys think regarding the unboxing video in the comments down below and I hope you guys enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up if you did and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel do consider subscribing for new videos every single week on luxury and fashion and I'll leave two videos on the screen for you to watch next so I'll see you very soon bye for now Thank you.